Hello, and welcome to the tour of my office in the Google headquarters. You're actually watching this from a drone filming outside my office right now. I don't want to back that up too far. Um, let's actually, let's bring that back just a little bit. Not that fast, okay. What's going on guys? Welcome to my office here at the Good Good headquarters. I want to do a quick tour for you guys just to show you a little bit around. And there's some pretty cool stuff in here that is just kind of interesting to let you know a little bit of like the backstory of like me creatively. Bubby recently did this at the Good Good house. He did a tour of his room. I thought it was really cool and I learned some new things about Bubby. So I thought it'd be cool to do it at the office at the Good Good headquarters. I kind of, I was, I kind of, I, to be, to be, to be, to, to <laughs> For some reason, I can't like talk. I don't know what's going on right now. To be 100% transparent, I haven't really liked coming into the Good Good office a whole lot because one, it's distracting because I always want to hit on the track man. And then two, I'll show you before shot, but I my office before, there was nothing on the wall. It just kind of felt like a jail cell, like I was coming into a jail cell. I just wanted to create a cool space in here that just kind of creatively charged me and made me enjoy editing in the space that I'm in. First of all, I bought a couch, which obviously, um, yeah. There's a couch. I just wanted something comfy for people to be able to lounge if we're in here talking, planning out videos. I just thought this was inviting. I had like a desk chair in here before and it was just, it was not good. I would say this right here is probably the coolest wall. It's not necessarily my favorite wall because it doesn't mean quite as much as some of the personal pictures over there. I have the uh, Kid Cudi Man on the Moon trilogy, one, two, and three, all signed by him. Kid Cudi is definitely my favorite artist. Whenever, whenever I need some inspiration or a little bit of pick me up, I always listen to Kid Cudi. He's a legend, he changed hip hop. This this album right here absolutely changed the landscape of hip hop. And then obviously the next two are still incredible. This one is kind of slept on a little bit. Obviously it's the most recent one. I really love this record. That is like the centerpiece of this wall. And then I have these nano leaf uh, lights up here, which are pretty cool. They react to touch. You can press music. So then when you play music, it reacts. So like right now it's reacting to my voice, which is pretty cool. But I thought that was kind of cool above the music. So when I'm playing music, it's this kind of like the music creative wall. Here's a film camera I bought a few years ago. Here is um, my girlfriend who's holding the camera. Grandpa's camera. It's like a flip out. It's really old. It's really cool. And then this right here is my very first HD video camera. You can see full HD 1080p. I just kind of wanted a few like creative things to remind me what it used to be like. I used to make videos with this and edit it on a computer with 256 megabytes of RAM. This is a CD of the first software I ever had to edit videos. My uncle Mike gave me this and it pretty much changed my life and it's the only reason I'm here doing good good now. I'm putting the serial number up there if anyone wants to steal this for Sony Vegas. This is also one of my first SD cards over here, two gigabytes. I think that was like $65, which is just, doesn't even make sense. I had this on my desk as a kid. A man's gotta believe in something, I believe I'll go golfing. I had this literally since I was like two years old. Comment, comment down below, comment what you think I should do above here. I kinda wanna save it potentially if I get some more signed records. Comment something that you think would be cool to go up here. And then this, can't really talk about it too much, but um, yeah, you see, you, you know what that is. I got a few panorama pictures down here. Uh, this is a picture of an Airbnb in Branson, one of my favorite good, good trips. And then he's wired in from the social network. Uh, I kind of made this artwork with uh, After Effects. I like took the screenshot from the movie and then made it. I, you know, I'm not gonna explain how I made it. With the... And then obviously the legendary hole in one moment right here. I really want us to sell some of these. I think it'd be cool. It, it was like a perfectly framed for this panorama Garrett with like the club drop and then Matt and everyone sprinting over here on this left side. I think it's a really cool picture. And then crossing over to the other side right here, this is where all the actual work gets done. Uh, computers over there. I'll go over all the computer specs at the end. I'll go over kind of like what all this means. And this is kind of organized strategically. Like this is kind of like the YouTube corner here. We got the Minecraft in the past. This is one of my first props from a CC Mirror Productions video. It's a Minecraft bow. This is actually my first rendered 3D animation frame from any of my Minecraft videos where I did a 3D animation. Uh, gold music video, but I thought that was kind of cool. I'll turn off the lights real quick. Um, which all be a little bit dark, but I got these glowing. We got the good, good putter right here and kind of the uh, CAD design views, which is pretty sweet. And then got the glowing Minecraft block. Obviously got the old CC Mega, you know what, gold plaque here. Got the YouTube legend, Freddie Wong and Brandon Latch, people who inspired me to pretty much start YouTube if you don't know that story. Got the bucket list printed out. I printed out on this fat head sticker, which is me and my dad's courses that we want to play. Obviously need, actually, do I have, yeah. Actually gonna cross off, where's Sawgrass? I'm gonna cross that off right here. Bucket list, 
getting worked on, trying to figure out the next episode to do with that. I thought it would be cool to print it out and kind of like see it every day so it doesn't get lost too far on the back burner. So we got a few little Minecraft trinkets. Matt Scharf actually gave me this little uh, ghast and then I got this little creeper right here. This is the first software that I bought on my own, which was the Adobe Suite CS6 with After Effects. For that, I got it in other ways, but this was actually my first time actually buying it. And then I got the 100K, the old plaque right here. And then this right here was actually a gift that Max kind of coordinated and all the guys chipped in and got me. This was actually, has been a huge dream of mine to have a Red Bull fridge. Actually, this guy right here, Freddie Wong, I would always watch his behind the scenes videos and they had a monster fridge that when they were up late editing, they would like go to the monster fridge. Now I got my own Red Bull fridge, which is pretty sweet. I like Red Bull more than monster, so I got a Red Bull fridge. Kind of moving on. So I kept that wall kind of like music and creative side and this is more like memory based. This is some of my favorite memories from like Good Good Trips. This is us as Payne's Valley. This is my dad and I playing golf the day after Christmas when I gave him the new Mizunos. This is me and my girlfriend. I had a party on New Year's. Uh, definitely uh, drinking water there. <laughs> this is me and Garrett. I think at, I don't know which good good week this is, but this is back when we were using the old finger flicker. So probably a few good good weeks ago. This is the street Max and I lived on in LA. This is a scene from BoJack Horseman, the final episode. I really like BoJack Horseman. This is a picture you've probably seen recently. This is actually, I think, the thumbnail where my dad, my uncle, and my cousin played TPC Sawgrass. Obviously, you got the legendary hole-in-one here from Matt Scharf. Also from the TPC Sawgrass trip, uh, we got the fan pick, and then we got me and Kelly over here. And then here, a quote from the legendary Sergeant Ernie Calhoun. It's all about the game which is a quote from VGHS that was made by Freddie Wong. This is a Hawaii trip that John, Brian, and I went on where uh, we played some of the coolest courses in Hawaii. There was a cliff jump, that's Brian jumping off in midair. This is one of my favorite pictures, Max took this, and this is us working at the OG spot at the Good Good House where we had the PCs above. I kind of miss those days, not gonna lie, there was something kind of special about us just working out of the Good Good House. That's kind of the tour of that, and then to break, to break down. Break it down, baby. <laughs> Pretty much every video from the last year has been edited on Max and I's MacBook Pros. The new ones with the M1 Max chip, 64 gigabytes of RAM, these things are absolute powerhouses. What Apple's done with their silicon and their chips blows my mind and every good video has been edited on a laptop pretty much for the past year. And it works way better than our $5,000 custom PCs, which has a lot to do with software optimization. You know what, I'm gonna stop talking about that. I got some pretty simple studio speakers, nothing crazy. I just recently got this uh, wireless Apple keyboard, which is pretty nice, and then the Logitech MX Master 3. Yeah, hopefully it's been kind of interesting. Uh, I thought it would be cool to show you my space, my creative space. Comment down below what your favorite part is. I always wanted a creative space, especially after watching Freddie W, Corridor Digital, also Casey Neistat, he's got a really cool office. I think this might actually be my like favorite thing in the whole office. I wanted this so freaking bad and Max surprised me with it, all the guys chipped in. So just, this, this really means a lot, I know it's like a Red Bull fridge, but it, it seriously means a lot. I always watched Freddie W back in the day and they were always like, you know, oh, we gotta dig into the monster fridge. So to be able to have this is, I don't know, it's really cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, press the like button, make sure to subscribe, the button's right here. Um, on the road to 100K, hope you guys enjoyed. Everyday counts. I need to get everyday counts somewhere. I have a sign that Kelly gave me a long time ago and I think it's probably gonna go right there. Hello and welcome to the office tour of, in my good, good office. Okay. Yep, I just knocked the frame off the wall. Nice, good work there. Real good work. Real great, phenomenal stuff. Finna bust a 